Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to to do a related search. Uh, actually, this uh, I hope you can remember that this company name comes from a different table. Uh, this is the branches table, and we have the company's relationship. And from the company's table, we are showing this value. Uh, this is how we did that. We talk, we spoke to the relationship in the branches table branches model you can see a relationship company's company and here is the company's relationship and here is the company name which is the attribute of the attribute in a table in the company's table so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create an input field see now since the main br branch name can be searched but the company name cannot be searched uh, actually i promised this lesson a uh, long time back but i couldn't deliver so thanks uh, for one of the viewers who reminded me okay so let's begin uh, let's first create an array give it an attribute give it an attribute of company's company id company's company id that comes from right here company's company id Again, then give it a value of the value that we gave. Okay, let's get rid of this. We don't want this. So let's refresh and see. Okay, now as you can see, you can see the search field in the column. So if uh, there's a small trouble, kind of mistakes here. Now see, uh, the model says the company's name must be an integer. It is true because here in the branches table, it is an integer. And in the rules section, if you go to the branches search, in the rules section it says company's company should be an integer. Okay. So first thing we have to do is remove it from here. And of course, since we are going to search from the company's ID, what we have to do is add it to the surf safe rule of in the rules section. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Let's check it again. Refresh. As you can see, now you won't get an error. So next thing, uh, what we have to do is, uh, okay. So next, uh, I hope you guys know how the route happens here. So this actually comes from the index, action index from in the branches controller. Controller, we have the action index, and the action index actually creates a object in the from the branches search class. Uh, and then it gets the data provided values uh, from of the table and pass it to the uh, pass it to the index file. So when what happens is when you actually search an item, it goes to the branches controller search and it passes the values, passes the params. Okay. So in the branches search, what we have to do is since uh, since we are getting. Uh, since we are getting the values, we have, we have to compare the string that we enter here to a table, e to the company's table, company name, we have to join that table. So, pretty easy to query. Uh, this query right here. Query. Uh, join with. And the name of the relationship. I think it's companies. Com Name. Okay, and here in the and filter where we get rid of since it's not an integer now we are comparing this with, comparing it as a string so let's get off rid of that and at the end and filter Oops. let's take copy of this and paste it in and we want to compare like. Uh, the name of the table companies now this recognize companies table because we joined it companies dot company name company name here is the company name companies company name so compare that with uh, this dot company company id yeah that will do i think so as you can see the string that we type in here 
gets to the branches search as company's company ID. So we are going to compare that with the table uh, company's company name. So let's check this out. Let's refresh and type in ADC. So we can't make sure that this is right. So first we have to go create another company. So let's go to R equals companies. Create another company, let's say printing and name uh, to add something uh, from something and status of active and create. And of course, what we have to do next, uh, go to branches section and create a branch select the company where did this come from okay doesn't matter uh, branch is uh, let's say okay. and branch is something here and status is active maybe let's build out something i don't know why where did this come from let's okay doesn't matter okay now we have two uh, actually now we have three records uh, so let's search abc okay as you can see it works properly let's do do i and it works okay so that covers it for this lesson uh, i hope you guys understood how the search functions work and how easy how easy it is to compare uh, data from a different value from a different table so I hope you guys uh, enjoy the tutorial. Stay tuned for more. Uh, yeah, and thanks again for Alexander for requesting this lesson. Okay, see you next time. Take care. Have fun. Bye.